from far. Bwana asifiwe. It at times is good to remember the past. Remembering those also who have laid the foundation for this church. We have come from far. Those who labored for many many years that we can be where we are today. We indeed uh, we are grateful for the Lord for using them and uh, we are praying that uh, 2024 uh, next year we were supposed to celebrate our 50 years church anniversary but we have pushed it to 2024 when the church was dedicated so we are going to reflect back and see where God has brought us from and where God is taking us so it's always good to look at the uh, the past and also so that we the past can also propel us to look at the future. We may move forward. So today I want to share with you. Next year our theme will be centering or fo focusing on the, a new, we, we, we'll be having a theme. This year we moved with the theme of uh, the year of divine possibilities. The year of divine possibilities, that which we are not able to do, that with God we can be able to do it. There are possibilities, even when we have gone through challenges, that there are possibilities. There are possibilities. But next year, we are moving to a theme also that is in, uh, in line with what we had had this year. And next year, we are saying... Uh, a future with new possibilities. A future with new possibilities. We are looking at the future. We are not going to look at the past. But we are going to look at the future with new possibilities. Today I want us to go to the book of uh, uh, Philippians chapter number 3. Philippians chapter number 3. And after this message... In fact, I'm going to preach for 10 minutes so that we can have the other, the other, uh, the other service outside there. We said that today we want to release everything, lay everything that we have gone through, every tough experience, everything that we have uh, experienced this year. We want to forget about the past. We want to leave the past to the past so that we can move forward and embrace a new future. Philippians 3, verse number 13. It's an advice that Paul gives to the church at Philippi. Philippians 3, okay. Philippians 3 verse number 13 and 14. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, I do not count myself to have apprehended. What can drag us behind is the attitude and the spirit of feeling like you have accomplished or you have apprehended something this year. Or the spirit that wants to drag you behind. Kuwa ume, umefika. But Paul says, I do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing. Hmm? Jambo moja ambalo ninafanya. And the first thing that Paul's mention is that forgetting those things which are behind. The first thing that Paul does is to forget those things that are behind. Laying, forgetting what lays behind. If we want to if we want to move forward and to succeed in the year 2023 we have to follow the advice of Paul. Hallelujah. That I have not apprehended. I did not reach where I wanted to reach. Hallelujah. I am still in the race. 
I have not apprehended. I have not reached. Hallelujah. I have not fulfilled God's purpose. There is a great purpose that God has for me in the year 2023. Hallelujah. So one thing that Paul says that he does, the advice that he gives us, that I forget about the past. I lay whatever lays behind, I leave it behind. Hallelujah. Are there things that have to leave them behind in the year 2022? Yes. Kuna mambo ni lazima tuyawache nyuma tukitaka ku succeed mwaka ujao wa 2023. Kuna mambo ni lazima tuyaache nyuma. Kuna mambo tumekutana nayo ambayo ingetaka kutushikilia ili tusisonge mbele tusiingie mwaka mpya na amani tusiingie mwaka mpya na furaha tusiingie mwaka mpya na matumaini haleluya bwana asifiwe there are things that we have to leave them behind for us to be able to move forward tell your neighbor it is god's intention and god's purpose for you to move forward Mwambie tusonge mbele pamoja. Mwambie pamoja tutasonga mbele. Hakuna kurudi nyuma. Mungu ametuita kusonga mbele. Haleluya. And, 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 and I had a, I had a very interesting uh, uh, story about uh, Australia ama inaitakwaje? What do you call that country? Huh? Australia on the coat of arms there is a picture of two animals the coat of arms wanasema ni ile nini ile nini yao kama ile ya Kenya si unaona eh ngao the shield ile ambao wanakuaga nayo in the coat of arms they have placed two animals the first animal is a kangaroo Kangaroo, wana sifiwe. A kangaroo has a very long tail. Inamkia ambayo ni kama mgu. Wana sifiwe. Mkia ambayo kangaroo haina kurudi nyuma. Ikirudi nyuma labda ianguke. Kangaroo hairudigi nyuma. Kwa hivyo inchi ya Australia wanaambia watu wake wanawaambia hakuna wakati wa kurudi nyuma hakuna wakati wa kuangalia mahali ambapo umetoka Bwana asifiwe si haja mke wa, wa Lut eh si aligeuka kawa chumvi jamini wa Kristo wa bahati wapendo wa bahati hatuna wakati wa kuangalia nyuma ya kale si ndwele tuyagange ajayo we have to move forward we have to look forward haleluya bwana asifiwe kangaroo haina wakati wa kuangalia nyuma mungu aliumba hivyo mungu hajatuumba hakuumba macho ingine huku nyuma atikuwa unaangalia nyuma hapana wacha kugeuka geuko kiangalia nyuma ya nyuma yameisha the things that we did in 2022 they are past and you cannot rectify the past the past is gone we have to move ahead we have to move ahead in the year 2023 ni lazima wapendwa tuendelee mbele ni lazima tusonge mbele kwa hivyo Paulo anasema I forget everything that lies behind I forget everything So Paul is saying the future is more important to me than the past The future is more important to us that, than what lies in the past Bwana asifiwe. Are there people who who lost their job in the year 2022? Yes. But we have to leave it as a past. We have to move forward. Move forward in faith. Move forward believing God and trusting God for a better tomorrow. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. 
Bwana asifiwe jameni. Kuna mambo hata kama ulipitia uchungu namna gani. Kuna wengine wetu tumezika watu mwaka huu wa 2022. Hallelujah. But we don't have to stay there. We have to move forward. Hallelujah. Kuna wengine wetu tumepembelea madaktari wengi mwaka huu wa 2022 but don't stay there. We have to move forward. Paul says, I forget about the past. If you want to have healing, you have to forget about the past. Embrace the future. Embrace the future. Wachana, wachana, ati nani alikufanyia nini? Ama nani aliku, alikupiga namna gani? Are there people even in churches? Eh? Hata hapa church kuna mtu alikupatia kimani, ki, kineno ambacho kilikukwaza. Na wengine ukasema hata starudi kwenda church. You have to move forward. Wachana na huyo. That's the past. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kazini kuna watu wamekupiga. Wamekupiga vita ili utolewe hapo ambao uko. Wachana nao. That's the past. We have to move forward. Haijalishi nani alisema nini. Haijalishi nani amekupiga namna gani. Wapendwa. It is a time to move forward. If we want to have a better future. We have to embrace the advice of Paul that I forget about the past for me to be able to embrace the future and to move forward. No matter what happened this year, you can move forward. Tell your neighbor you can move forward. I know the pain is there. I know the pain. We can move forward. Kiambiwa forward march. Forward march. Bwana sifiwe. And I believe that the Lord has ameweka gia ya mbele. Hakuna rivers. We have to move forward in the year 2023. We have to embrace a new year. We have to leave behind every pain. And that's why today we are going outside there. So that we can take those helium balloons and tell God whatever pain I experienced this year Whatever pain I experienced this year, I am moving forward. I release. I release every pain. I release the hatred. I release the shame. I release the bitterness. I release the anger. I release failures that I I experienced in the year 2022. I release them, Lord. Let them go. Lord, I'm willing to move forward. And the Lord is with us. Even as we share in a new year, the Lord is with us. The Bible says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. We have to embrace a new future. So Paul says, I forget about the past. Remembering that Paul, Paul was a man who was persecuting the church. Paul killed many who believed in God. And the devil could have wanted him to remember the past. Unajua kuna kale ka shetani kwa ukujaga. Kanataka kukuvuta. Wewe kumbuka ile umefanya. Kumbuka, kumbuka ili umefanya. Hata wakati utahi kukumbuka. Kuna kale ka, 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 ka roho, ka pepo, ka baya, kana kujaga. Hata leo wa subuhi kuna ako ka pepo, ka mekuja. Wakati uluko unakuja kanisani. Lakini ni lazima uka kanyagi, uka ambiwe, kanyaga ni nakujinda. Katika jina la isu. Hallelujah. Paul was a man who was persecuting the church. But Paul says, despite of that, I forget about the past. I want to move forward. I want to embrace a new future. Una unadhani hakuna watu wa walikuwa wanakutana na Paul wanamwambia wanamkumbusha past yake. Walikuwa they were there. But Paul says, I forget about the past. I want to move forward. Paul played a big role when Stephen was stoned. 
and the spirit of guilt and shame may have wanted to cripple Paul, but Paul says, I forget about the past. I'm not going to allow any spirit to haunt me. No matter what I did, that's the past. I am a new creature. I am a believer now. I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. The past is the past. The past is not going to define my today. The past is not going to define my tomorrow. I am a child of God. I am a daughter of God. Don't allow the past to define you. You are not a product of the past. <laughs> you are a product of God's grace. Tell your neighbor, I'm a product of God's grace. Tell the other neighbor, I am a product of God's grace. And I'm going to live because of the grace of the Lord. May the grace of the Lord be sufficient for you in the year 2023. Receive more grace. Grace that is going to take you where no man can be able to take you. Grace that is going to make you rich where you have never dreamt. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive the grace of the Lord. And you are going to go far. Not because of anything else. Not because you have money. With money or without money. Receive the grace of the Lord. Let the grace of the Lord be sufficient. Hallelujah. The year 2023. More grace. It's the year of grace. Hallelujah. Na tutae nambali wapendwa. Tutae nambali wapendwa. Shetani atake asitake. Anajaribu kutushikilia na mambo ya kitambu. Lakini tunasema tunamkanyaga katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Tunasonga mbele kwa neema, kwa imani na kwa uweza wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. So Paul says, I forget about the the past. Hallelujah. The past is not going to haunt me. Whatever I did in the past is the past. It is gone. It is gone. I embrace a better today. I embrace a better tomorrow. Bwana sifiwe. The failures of yesterday are not going to derail me. The failures of yesterday are not going to derail you. You have to reach where God has intended you to reach in the year 2023. Hallelujah. mahali Na kuweke kiwango anakuambia hauwezi fika, hauwezi pita mahali fulani. Hata katika jamii zetu kuna roho ambazo zimetuweka mahali fulani. Zinasema wewe uwezi pita hapa, lakini mwaka huu nimejua. Hayo ninaiacha nyuma. Nitafika mahali ambapo Mungu amekusudia ufike. Hallelujah. Then I'm going to I'm not going to allow anything of yesterday to derail me to reach where God has intended. Not even family ties. Wajua wakati mwingine tunasema family curses. Bwana asifiwe. Hizo laana na ziacha nyuma. Si ingi mwakambia na laana yote. Hauta ingia mwakambia na laana yote. Laana zote. Ziwe za uko. Ziwe za mababu. Ziwe za wazazi ama za nani. Hizo tunawacha nyuma. Tunaingia mwaka mpya Na ushindi wa mungu. Na neema ya mungu. Hallelujah. Nothing is going to derail us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to reach where God has intended us to reach. So Paul, and then he moves on and says, forgetting what lies behind and uh, embracing what is ahead. Anasema hivi, anasema hapa, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching towards those things that are ahead. 
So our work is to reach towards those things that are ahead. Our work is not to face and go back to the past. God has called us to reach those things that are ahead. The things, the promises, the dreams that are ahead of us. That is what God has called us to do in the year 2023. We have to embrace all the things that God has laid ahead of us. Are there things that God has laid ahead of you? They are there. Faith is the substance of these hope for. The evidence of things which are not seen. Even when you cannot see, there are things that God has laid ahead of you. There are promises that are ahead of you. Hallelujah. They are there. Move towards that which God has laid ahead of you. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Let me give you a story in the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 30. It's 1 Samuel chapter number 30 and verse number 6. Nyuekewe hiyo 1 Samuel 30 uh, verse number 6 and 8. Now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the, the soul of all people was grieved. Every man for his son and his daughter. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. They wanted to stone him. The city was captured. The enemy took their wives and their daughters and their sons and they burned that city. And when David came back with the men, mighty men of war, when they reached there, there was no there was nothing. The place was burnt. Their family were captured. Their daughters were captured. Their sons were captured. And they wanted to stone David. But the Bible says, David said, I'm not going to look behind. I'm not going to look at the failures, at, the, at what I have lost. If I look at what I have lost, I'm not going to move forward. If I look at what people want to do to me, I cannot be able to move forward. The Bible says, David purposed that I'm going to look ahead. I'm going to look what lies ahead. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. We have to encourage ourselves in the Lord as we end this year. If we are going to receive any victory, we have to encourage Ourself in God. For us to move forward, we have to encourage ourselves in the Lord, no matter the circumstance, no matter the pain, no matter the failure, no matter that guilt spirit that is coming. Ni kwa sababu yako hivi imetendeka hivi. Ni kwa sababu yako mambo iko hivi. Hapana, you have nothing to do with what uh, that happens to you. There is nothing that we can change. The only thing we can do is to have faith in God and to move forward. David knew that I cannot be able to change this circumstance and this situation. It's beyond me. It's beyond my ability. It's beyond my power. It's beyond me. And David, he encouraged himself in the Lord and they moved forward. And finally, God gave him victory. There are two scriptures, alafu ni memaliza. Aonata tumeka sana. Two scriptures. The first scripture uh, is Luke chapter number two. So that we can bring the mood of Christmas. Luke chapter number two. Verse number eight. Elder Simon, are you there? Luke 2, verse number eight. And then uh, our brother, uh, Elder uh, Benson, is going to read Matthew 2, 1. 
Luke 2, 8, uh, and uh, Simon read, and then uh, 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 Benson of Fanye, uh, Matthew 2, 1. Luke 2, 8 to 12. Aha. Uh-huh. Hey, microphone here, Luke chapter 2, verse number 8. Luke chapter 2, verse 8. Bibili na sema hivi, soma kwa kiswa hili. Na katika inchi ile ile, walikuweko wachungaji wakikaa makondeni na kulinda kundi lao kwa zamu ya usiku. Malaika wa buwana kwa watokea gafla, utukufu wa buwana, ukawangaria pande zote, wakaingiwa na hofu kuu. Malaika wakawambia msiogope, kwa kuwa mimi ni mawaletea habari njema, ya furaha kuu, itakayo kuwa kwa watu wote. Maana leo katika mji wa Daudi, tufikia tu hapo, mji wa Masaa, the shepherds. God gave them a sign. And they had their sheep that they were looking after. Walikuwa na kondo zao, na mbuzi zao, walikuwa na chunga. Sinikweli? Na mungu wamewapatia ishara kuwa muji wa Bethlehem of Judea. Kumezaliwa mfame. Kumezaliwa mfame. Hawa wapendo wako na mbuzi zao, wako na kondo zao, na wachungaji ni ngumu sana kuacha mbuzi zao na kondo zao peke yao. Lakini mwalipo sikia, mfame amezaliwa. Ilibidi wawache nyuma. Wawache nyuma mbuzi, kondo na kitu. Hata wajui wanawachia nani. Ilibidi they move forward, waende mbele. Ili waweze kuona mfalme wa wafame. Ule alie umba bingu na inchi. God the creator. Manifesting or coming. In the image of a child. Jesus the Messiah. For them to see the creator. For them to see the Lord, the savior of the world. They had to leave behind their ships and whatever they had. And they moved forward. Matthew 2 1. Matthew 2 1. Matthew 2 1. Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. So when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had. Wise men. When they heard that he was born, wise men, yani una imagine wise men, wakienda kutafuta, kwa sabu wamesikia tu, kutafuta mahali ambapo hawakujua wanaenda wapi. And they were wise men. Going to a place where they don't know where they are going. But they had to leave behind everything. To go to a place they didn't know where they are going. In the year, in this journey of the year 2023, we may not know where we are going, but we have the one who knows. We, the, we have the one who sees. Hallelujah. He has already seen our January. Hallelujah. And your January is secured in the name of Jesus. Bwana sifiwe, January yako iko secured kwa mungu. February yako iko secured kwa mungu. All the way had December. We may not know 
we may not be able to see from where we stand, but from where God stands, he knows. The year 2023, for you, they left behind. We have to leave behind everything and trust God. Trust in the Lord, Proverbs 3, and lean not on your own understanding. And in all that you do, acknowledge, Proverbs 3, <coughs> Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding to endele. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path to endele. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart or shun evil to endele. And it will be health to you, to your what? To your flesh and strength to your Kidogo. Honor the Lord. Alafu. I want to pray for a, 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 a near over, overflow. Buana Siviwe. Hallelujah. A near of overflow. That we are going to overflow in all areas. Spiritually, we are going to overflow. January kwanza tuna tunaanza hii mwaka na maombi ya 21 days ya prayers. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo kula vizuri December. Kwa sababu January nakuja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Hii hakuna amen. Ambia jirani yako hata kama hakuna amen. Maombi ni ya 21 days prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. <laughs> and your bands honor the Lord as we go to peace.